Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. And today we will understand all the solution of every problem which are facing in coding as of now. And here yeah, exams are coming and I know you people have a lot of doubts, right? How to prepare for DSA, how you can crack the coding interview on TCS. So I'll tell you today five important pages. These pages will help you to you know finish all the DSA, like all the things which you require for your cracking your coding interview. And why which you can rock there. So yeah, now let's begin. Let's begin. And I hope energy is high for all. Energy is high for all. Okay. Write in comment if it's high. Cool here. Now, now what are the five important pitch? Right, that is important. What are the five important pitch? First important thing is the pattern of question. Like pattern of question, practice regularly, problem solving, programming efficiency, and perform box. Now somebody will say me, sir, what is the new in this? I already knew it. You already knew it. That's very true. But anyhow, I want to tell you this because you'll understand why I've written this here. These important five page will help you to crack the coding interview for the exam and TCS. Okay. So now pattern of questions. I when I talk about the pattern of questions, I talk about two things. First, decide which programming language you're good at. If you're good in let's say in Java, you're good in Python, then first improve your programming fundamentals okay then first thing is that programming language improve that especially one important thing one important thing how you will take the input and how you will give the output right so in tcs how you will write the code for taking the input from user and that is important thing so again i highly suggest that if you know a particular programming language you want to code there in that so again you must know you must know what you must know input and output way first thing second thing do not use do not use external libraries just use inbuilt methods or your own logic a particular problem is specific to a you know particular problem is specific to a let's say a solution which can directly be solved with the help of built-in method and do not do that at your own logic otherwise interview will think like that what you have done that already available for example a particular problem is for sorting and your writing like sorting method inbuilt sorting method that will never be helpful right you are not using any logic there because any of these want you to check on problem solving skills cool here so now what you will do what you will do you will not use the external library so avoid external libraries external libraries okay cool yeah cool so now now that you understand third thing third thing once you know the fundamental of programming whatever language you are preparing at right clear the basic fundamental of dsa for example let's say time and space complexity array strings linked list you must know the data structures okay so now clear clear DSA fundamentals. Fundamentals. Now, if you will say like, sir, it's a hard. We are, you know, what we do is we are able to understand the problem statement, but we are not able to write code by ourselves. How we can do this? How we can do this? Yeah, for that thing, practice regularly. Practice regularly. But how you can practice here? Yeah? You know, in my recent in last videos, what I have done is that I've, I've, one video I've covered for like top five important thesis questions and multiple video over YouTube in the same platform. You'll go, you'll search there like top, uh, you know, TCS, MQT practice questions. You'll get there. There are provided 50 questions of TCS and QT, which are, you know, curated from the previous year question papers. So you can go and check out there. I'll also show you, show you the video uh, on my on YouTube channel, on the same YouTube channel itself. I'll show you from there for getting practice questions. Okay. I'll search for YouTube. I don't know whose account will be logged in here, but no worries. We'll check it out. Okay. So I'll go here. I'll search for prep and star. So now if you'll go here, if you'll go here, I've already covered in live also in videos. If you'll go in the live section. If you'll go in the live section, you'll see this. Okay. And mm, what is this? Nothing. Okay. So now here, now you will see one thing. I have already covered like these uh, one particular video coding questions and answers. 
in this particular video i provided top 50 tcs questions a dockage available in comment and description as well you will check out there and practice all these important 50 questions to brush up your coding skill for tcs especially okay and other videos too you can go and check out there again here when it comes to you know a cracking a particular interview the most important thing the most important advice i will give to somebody is that prepare previous year question papers you know the page like you know the page here for this practice regularly figure out top 50 questions from that video again on prevention itself for free there are 150 not out question okay i'll show you that as well here you'll go on prepensta search for top 50 not out coding questions so you'll you'll come here topic specific problem statements you will have here which will help you to scratch the coding round and will help you to prepare the dsa as well so two resources i've given you for free right you know that they will be very helpful for you cool yeah so now we'll go back we'll understand the other things as well top 50 for tcs specific second thing 150 not out third thing third thing prepare previous year question paper but from where you will search for tcs previous year question paper prepensta you will get all the previous year question paper which has been you know asked in tcs so far so anyhow whenever you are sitting in a particular exam always remember that you understand the pattern the coding pattern how a particular company asked okay so those pattern those previous year question paper will help you a lot i hope for till now you're very energetic you're very clear with the concept that you need your fundamental programming concepts cleared out second thing the dsa fundamental third thing not mastered just understand the fundamental just understand what is q what is stack what is array what is string just understand this and start practicing start practicing once you will start practicing you'll face difficulties you'll try to you know figure out the solutions you'll understand someone else solution then you will learn Trust me, if you'll, you'll think like, sir, I'll learn the whole DSA once and we'll practice, this is never going never gonna to happen. What you have to do, you just need to read, you just need to understand what a particular data structure is and just start preparing. Start doing coding questions. Start doing coding. That is how actually everybody learns DSA. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now, problem solving approach. How, how we should approach the problem? Two important, two to three important things. First, read the problem carefully. Once you have understood the problem, think in a way that if you are not a coder, how will you solve this particular problem? Think in a certain way that if you are not a coder, how will you solve this particular problem? Then you will get out a, you will get a solution. The basic approach. Once you have a basic approach, code it. Once you have done coding, then think about, can we optimize it? Can we optimize it? If yes, if yes, you can optimize it, then go with the multiple algorithms. That could be a sliding window, that could be a, you know, a two pointer, that can be bit manipulation, or that can be anything, right? So then you think about a specific, you know, optimized algorithms. Now somebody will say, sir, we do not have a lot of time. We don't have that much of time to think in exam that what will be web, uh, like optimized approach, what is the naive approach, the brute force. I'm not telling you for the exam, I'm telling you for the preparation. In exam, whatever comes in brain, just write it because their time is important. This time is important okay now programming efficiency the fourth p and the most important p once you know when once you are learning that you have cleared your programming fundamental you have cleared your dsa fundamental you know the data structures third thing you were doing regularly practice from 50 questions that i provided in that video that will help you a lot to understand everything about tcs second thing previous year question papers third thing top 150 not out questions okay these three resources for practice dsa good enough cool yeah now programming efficiency once you have these understanding think like how you can how you can reduce the bugs how you can reduce the errors how directly you can think about an optimized approach now this comes in the starting will think in an optimized way that will never gonna happen that is not gonna happen directly you cannot think of optimized what you have to do you have to think a basic way only then you can go to the optimized way until unless you are a very good coder already if you already know the things then this i guess not for you right so then you can directly think for the optimized way cool yeah now again the fifth p the super and most and last important thing 
once you have done fundamentals of programming and dsa once you've done enough practices now you know the efficient wage now you have to do personal mocks try to simulate the real coding exam scenarios let's say you have three questions you have 90 minutes you have to solve this take a clock start recording start solving and explain to yourself then watch it where you were doing wrong understand it where you were doing wrong what you can improve personal mocks are super important thing to understand like how what is the label of us what am i label where i'm doing correct or wrong and how you can check it i highly advise that you use previous year question paper from preparation start self for practicing these personal mocks these personal mocks sit with proper time window with having no disturbance like try to create or simulate real coding exam real coding interview with the fixed time length okay and then practice there trust me these five pg first clear fundamental of programming clear fundamental of dsa practice regularly from where i've told you the resources top 50 questions from my youtube video second thing like tcs pbs year coding questions third thing 150 not out questions okay more than enough for practicing again then for programming efficiency once you have the logic once you know everything then think about how you can you know reduce the errors how you can optimize the things ulia then after that once you have this label like you are able to solve almost 80 90% of the questions go for the personal mocks try to simulate the creator real coding exam trust me that will work efficiently you will not regret that this video is going to help you a lot uh, trust me you know once somebody have a proper road map they there are very higher chance that they will succeed so create try to create your own road map and yeah i'm giving you the advices it's up to you whether you take it or not but i highly suggest that create a road map how you can you know hit your target cool here now i will tell you like few people can have like sir uh, now any uh, from where i can clear my fundamental of dsa so i suggest two courses available on the prefinsta prime one is basic coding to understand logic building to understand the basic fundamental programming and coding second thing the intermediate coding that is super important these two resources will help you also you also don't worry but these resources can help you to crack the tcs but again here are the topics which you need to understand for tcs and qt cool here now these are the for the basics these are these for the for the basics now for advance i guess i have this is for advance or the same thing i pasted oh no any on advance there is nothing the same advanced topic you can have a advanced dsa course for the tcs itself for the tcs okay but here you will have the further more topic like trees and graph bit manipulation tree and graph okay bit manipulation bit manipulation trees and graph trees and graphs for that you can refer advanced coding preparation on tcs like from the preference stop prime itself these resources just me can help you a lot also also the important thing is that i hope that you now you are able to conclude all the point i have told you again i'm summarizing for a summary for a summary what you have to do what i have to do the first and most important thing is that you have to trust yourself that you can make it you can make it you can make it because this believe is only the thing which will lead you to the success trust me okay and if you can make it write in the comment i'll read it i'll i'll read it and then once you done this then come here back and again write sir you did it okay you can, you have a choice you can you can commit today in the comment that you will make it and once you make it come here back and write you made it okay so this kind of challenge can you know thrive you to achieve your success important thing again for summarizing the things you need to clear fundamental first most important thing that how you take the input that is important thing second once you cleared practice resources you know top 50 question and again previous year question papers and 150 not out third thing once you practice think about the optimization like now we understand the brute force we understand the basic logic how you can optimize think about sliding window think about two pointer think about bit manipulation think about recursion right so these things can come your brain okay then optimization 
and again 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 after optimization self mock self mock try to simulate the real coding scenario for you so these are the important thing i wanted to tell you i hope they will help you a lot and best of all for you coding i i wish best for you everybody i wish best for everybody like everybody should get good scores everybody should be able to crack it okay and anyhow if you have a proper road map you will you will nobody can stop you are unstoppable right you are unstoppable so now now again for further updates regarding tcs or any other hire you can refer to the social media platforms and again if if like there are top 50 questions are provided in the last video those will give me the perfect solutions in the comment for at least five questions those top three comments i'll see and they can get a preference of prime for free they might have a chance to get it for free i'll check the comments i'm waiting for your responses and again i want the energy like you are writing today that you will make it and once you make it come back here and say you made it okay cool yeah so now now for these things these important how you can get these courses i'm showing the you will get the link in description as well and also i'm showing you the platform from where you can get it go to the preference to prime preference to prime there you will get more than 200 plus courses for multiple companies right for ds and for tcs itself so now you'll go here you'll go here you will have these courses okay you will have these multiple courses so now go here and search for course like let's say i want a basic coding i want basic coding so you will have basic coding course which will give you one road map one path one basic understanding then go for intermediate 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 coding and then go for advanced coding okay then go for advanced coding advanced coding so now yes you will get somewhere here uh advanced coding i'll show you where it is competitive coding will be advanced coding for you okay so competitive is a advanced thing cool but only then go once you have cleared basic and intermediate also for tcs especially you can search for a course tcs and qt okay and also there is i guess 10 days crash course for tcs and qt available on the preference to prime you can check it out there so this course will give you the complete road map to crack your tcs and qt the aptitude the verbal the ds and everything okay again what i can help you here with if you are facing a financial challenges one thing i can tell you that you can use a coupon code for preference to prime especially for preference to prime that is only purchase remaining things are for free and again here if you will go here there is a purchase page if you will go here you will have the plans so this is one thing is a tcs crash course and this is let's say you want a membership so let's say if i go for 12 month if you apply here a coupon code pandey sir you'll get full discount okay pandey sir this may give you a discount okay right now look at this you have a discounted prices so again for every thing you will get a discount here on pandey sir coupon apply it there for getting a financial ad and again best of luck to all and remember these five important page to you know crack everything and tcs wish you all the best with these five important page but again here if you have invested your time in this particular video then again make a promise to yourself that you will make it and once you make it come back and tell me you made it okay wish you all the best bye bye see you in the next video if you have any particular query any specific doubts write down in the comments bye bye to all